this is my personal passion really in terms of both the, the connection between an organization and its purpose and i think particularly right now that's that's probably the biggest trend in marketing isn't it you know across all sectors i'm hearing all, all organizations lean into or how, how can we help make the world better right now you know a huge trend around um organizations finding their soul and also being kind um to to, to you know helping helping the world be be kind to each other um and yes absolutely you know in ntt together with many of our partners like cisco um we believe in that the power of technology to make a positive impact on the world and to help solve some of the world's biggest problems so together we've tackled um animal poaching and quite specifically rhino poaching you know we were in danger of losing all of the rhinos in the world by 2025 um a decade ago and through many of the projects that are now rolling out across many parts of Africa, we're seeing a, a gradual reversal in, in that poaching trend, which is, which is great to see. Um, but we are um, very lucky, I, I guess, just as we launched our new company last year, um, that the United Nations has actually published a very clear roadmap of uh, the, the major challenges in the world that, that need to be solved in the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and behind each of those 17 goals, actually a very clear blueprint of what change needs to happen. Um, so we're adopting um, the support of those 17 sustainable development goals at the very heart of our purpose. And one of the things actually we, we feel very proud to be is a business avenger for one of those goals, which is goal 11 around sustainable life in cities and communities. You know, how can technology um, make all of our lives better in the communities that we live in and increasingly as more of us live in urban environments and, and move to the cities, um, life in cities better. And there's all kinds of examples of things that are already happening, um, you know, such as the ability for us to, to, to have smarter travel, to understand the quickest way for us to get across the city. Increasingly now because of the pandemic, you know, what public transport routes would be quieter, what parts of a train even I was looking at my app yesterday would be quieter than others if I'm if I'm using public transport. Um, you know, so so uh, effectiveness, but also safety in, in travel, you know, smart, smart metering, um, smart connectivity, obviously the, the, the role of IoT in connecting devices across cities, whether it's in our own homes or indeed um, in, in, in government infrastructure, you know, technology is already beginning to make a massive difference. Um, and one of the projects that, that we're, we've recently been working on actually with a university partner of ours down in Australia is beginning to start to think about the role of technology in tackling some of the world's um, most devastating diseases. And actually just earlier on today, we were talking about um, the role of technology in actually helping dementia care. Um, so, many, so many of us are affected, um, sadly, by dementia, um, you know, one in 14 adults. Uh, sadly, is are, are, um, are, are affected by dementia, but technology can really help in terms of just reminding people of simple tasks that are often forgotten um, in dementia patients, such as you know cleaning your teeth in the morning, you know remembering to have lunch or remembering that you have had lunch, um, uh, reminding you know your birthdays or, or key events that you need to do just through simple voice-activated prompts um, through smart devices in the home and. Um, just technology making such a big difference in, in, in people's lives and across the technology industry, I know that we have a wealth of projects and a wealth of stories of technology making a positive impact um, in, in many parts of lives around the world.